This semester, we're learning about Belinda Henry's landscapes and we're going to be doing a collage landscape using paper that we create, using different techniques. The two elements of art that we're studying are texture and colour. So you can see I made my own paper using paint and thick brushes and thin brushes, using thin, pa um, thin paint and thick paint. And I use different brush techniques like rough and smooth to make my own paper panels that I will use for my collage. Some were used with wax pencil and using patterning and then color on top. And some were just used using different rough brush strokes and different colors. So I tried to get some that look like sky, some that look like grass, some that look like flowers and used as much color as I could. Here is an example of how I made some of them with wax and then rubbed back the color. Here is me using the wax pencil and then rubbing back with color and then rubbing back from with tissue paper. And then I cut out my shapes on top of a landscape that I'd pre-drawn and then I glued them down with PVA using all the different colored papers that I thought matched. Some of them didn't match so much so I didn't use them. And you know the blue for the blue sky and some blue for the water. And the hills were green and I painted them all um, and as with PVA and I stuck them down. I then lined them with blue paint or darker paint, not black, so that I could make some of the shapes pop out and pop forward and I used different patterning like scallops and lines and tree like tree branch shapes to add a focus in my landscape. Much in style, like in keeping with the style of Belinda Henry. I tried to make certain parts of the picture as interesting as I could. So I added some gold, some white, some things I rubbed back with tissue paper and some things didn't work and did work and it was a process of kind of figuring out what my style was. And I think that's something that all the students will do too. I tried to make the water and the sky very similar. And this is the final product.